Hey everyone, it's Jared here with another lesson on a way that you can improve your ghost note control right now. Now I get emails all the time, and I don't know if you've ever emailed me, but it's jared at drumio.com, so if you need anything to help with your drumming, go ahead and send me an email, and I'll happily reply, hopefully with some helpful advice. Now this one is in response to many, many questions I've been getting about ghost notes and ghost note control. Now this is a very, very kind of hard thing to practice and so I'm gonna just give you an exercise that I developed to help myself with ghost note control and it's something I still do to this day. So it's absolutely not perfect all the time but I continue to push the speed as long as I feel good with the amount of control I'm having and I've been having more and more success with, with my left hand ghost notes. Okay, so the pattern is very, very simple. It's basically three ghost notes on the first count of one, starting on the E. So one, E, and a, uh, and then an accent on count two, two, E, and a. Uh. So it's seven notes in a row with your left hand before you take a break. So basically you're not playing any note with your left hand on count one, and count three. So really slowly, it's gonna sound like this. So one thing I'm really focusing on when I'm doing that is keeping my right hand nice and consistent and groovy. A lot of students, when I see them play this sort of exercise, they'll go like this. Because first of all, their right hand wants to follow their left hand, and it's hard for you to, to get those motions in when your left hand's having to be, you know, doing something totally on its own. You know, the left hand is not going with these same motions as the right hand, right? So with the right hand doing its own motions, the left hand's doing its own motions, it's a little bit more challenging. So I really focus on, on that and getting it to sound nice and groovy. So let's do it at 60 beats per minute and then again at 90. Here we go. Like I said, this is something I still practice to this day and I really try and focus on the note spacing and the volume of each ghost note. A lot of times I find that my left hand ghost notes are rushed or they're either dragging. And if that's the case, it's really, really messing with the groove. So if you ever tried to use that with other musicians, um, they would probably be thrown off a little bit. So you wanna really tighten up that note spacing and really make sure that the, the note dynamic is consistent, or at least it's what you want it to be, especially coming out of the accent and going into the accent, right? Those are kind of the, the trouble areas that I see a lot of drummers having, myself included. Okay, so this exercise just really helps me. Do this five or 10 minutes a day, just play this groove consistently. You're gonna notice massive you know, gains with your left hand. It's gonna be more mobile, it's gonna be, have more dynamic control, um, and you're just gonna have more freedom on the drum set overall. So, hopefully you enjoyed this lesson, hopefully you take it to your kit right away and start practicing it. If you'd like some more lessons, I'd really encourage you to check out Successful Drumming. It's my complete curriculum, and it's designed to give drummers um, a foundation of theory and technique and has a bunch of tools in order to do that. It's a step-by-step -step curriculum so you start on page one and just work your way through all the lessons and I give complete instructions within the video on exactly what to do. So definitely check that out. If you have any questions related to this lesson or anything else, feel free to email me jared at drumio.com. I'd love to chat with you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.